Baby, here's your daily reminder to drink some water, unclench your jaw, and find a reason to smile. I love you, and I'm proud of you. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading today, your weekly horoscope, Sagittarius, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonate and how they do, because that is how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments, Sagittarius, as well as give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoy this reading, or you just enjoy my vibe, Sagittarius, because it does help me out a lot when you guys do that for me. Um, as well, remember, to use your intuition, Sagittarius, because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate, leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it. I believe my weekly horoscopes are just here to give you some food for thought, some perspective for you to consider today, but never making the choice in your life, because it's your life to live, Sagittarius, not mine and not these tarot cards, so remember that. And with all that being said, let's just get into your weekly horoscope, uh, Sagittarius. I pulled some cards for y'all so I could see where you guys are at currently. And just going on with a similar theme, Sagittarius, you're just like all the other fire signs. You have the Nine of Earth, Nine of Pentacles. You have as well the Ten of Air, the, the King of Air, the Swords, by the way. Uh, and then the Eight of Earth, or the Eight of Pentacles. Earth and Pentacles, or Earth and Air Energy, for all of you guys. Uh, huh. <laughs> Sagittarius, similar to, um, similar to Aries, almost. You guys are coming out of a difficult situation, or like a tough situation, or a heavy situation. Uh, really, I feel like whatever the heavy situation was, uh, Sagittarius really taught you a lot, uh, allowed you to really give you a better idea, I feel, as a, a sense of like what it is that you want to do with your life or how you carry yourself and for anything in the future. So let's see how we want to play out these cards. I think I want to do this. So we're going to start out with your Ten of Air, or your Ten of Swords, Saji. This card says, the end of a difficult situation, embrace the change and expect things to get better now. So whatever your situation was, Sagittarius, uh, dare I, I am getting this sense that you <laughs> you guys have probably, I would say, in the last like month, really been going through like a, you probably have felt like you've been going through like a trial of fire, almost, where it's just like constant tests, very similar to Leo's in a way, but I feel like it's different for you, Sagittarius, because for you guys, I feel like it's more so honing in on uh, opportunities for you guys where it's just like every single time an opportunity or a potential path is presented to you maybe you'll dip your toes into it maybe you'll walk forward a couple of steps but then something happens that seemingly like uh either slows down that progress or just completely has you calling quits on it because you just no longer have the energy to invest in it anymore because of other distractions it almost just feels like you're just so like i won't be surprised if we get the star card for y'all's reading sagittarius because it just feels like you guys always just keep getting so close to really having something huge happen for your life uh, that changes the things that you've been wanting to change but then like something just pulls you back right it's, whether it's just like an obstacle in that same path or whether it's something completely separate right maybe like something happens in your family when you're about to really do something big for your work or vice versa um so let's see what's going on here what was it for y'all mm, i guess we're taking all of these honey uh okay <clears throat> so we have the cards for the clarifiers rather for your ten of swords is the did i even even read off the card no i did <laughs> don't mind me sagittarius y'all are the last fire sign so i'm a little bit loopy at this point uh i got the two of cups the ace of wands in the reverse yeah. the judgment card it's making sense seven of swords in the reverse and the nine of swords in the reverse so sagittarius 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 definitely deals with is in regards to like a very intimate situation for you guys a very intimate energy um whatever it was you really wanted to go the whole nine yards with it you had a lot of uh hopes and dreams for this two of cups because i see with this ace of wands that ended up being inverted for you guys i see you guys like see you just really being like oh this could be it this could be what opens things up for me this could be um 
really, if you feel like you're in the right direction when you start engaging with this energy. And so you start taking action on it, right? It's a situation where um, <laughs> Sagittarius, you probably have found yourself saying at some point in your life where it'd be like, oh, this feels like it's too good to be true. And then I feel like you guys stopped saying that because it's like every single time you said that, then it starts becoming too good to be true. And then something happens, right? With this um, Seven of Swords here in the reverse, this shows to me of where it's almost just like a... I don't... <sighs> I want to say, Sagittarius, where it's like, it feels like a lot of things opened up for you, like it was like the right thing or the right people, but just the timing just has never been right. And I feel like that's just been like something that you could even acknowledge being like, ah, this happened in like any other point where you could invest more energy into this situation. It would be so different. That is what I'm hearing is just like, I feel like things could just be so different for you if things just came out or came up at a different point in your life, right? so it's just very interesting in this way because then with this knight of swords in the reverse for you sagittarius i just like to hold them upright so you can see the card the artwork of them sadly but with this card the knight of swords being in the reverse the knight of swords is usually the fast fastest moving card forward moving card but is also the most vulnerable knight out of all of them because this knight in specific is the one that is the most easily influenced because this is with the swords this knight is the one that's living in their head constantly so and i'm gonna be honest sagittarius this could be i whatever the situation is i feel like there's a little level of responsibility that you could take on take on with yourself with this of where it's just like um your own mind starts sabotaging certain things you know my sagittarius is that i've been dealing with some um what's the word uh, imposter syndrome. This is definitely y'all's bane of existence right now. It's impost heavy imposter syndrome. So even if you going back into that sense of where it's like, oh, like where you, some of you guys at one point would have said, it's like, oh, this feels like it's too good to be true, right? The reason why you would say that for some of you Sagittarius is, is because you yourself don't feel like you're good enough um, for the opportunity, or you feel like you're not deserving of it, or you really want to do it, but then once you start doing it, you start getting in your head and being like, oh, what if everyone just like sees me as like the fraud that you think you are and realizes that you're not as good as like people are perceiving you or situations are perceiving you. And this is, I'm coming in here right now, Sagittarius, and telling you that you just need like, stop it, <laughs> right? Stop this, this, um, and I, I guess that you are coming out of this, looking at your other cards, like whatever this, whatever the situation was, I do feel like it's coming back, right? Maybe like same, like person, what have you, like, I feel like something's coming back into your life. That was a really good opportunity um didn't work out the first time around now i feel like it's coming back after like you retained something right i feel like it taught you a bunch and then you just kind of like luck has you where it just like comes back i really do feel like something's coming back that like you really and wanted at the time but for some reason it didn't work out right um eight of pentacles right i keep on talking about you guys learning right skilled work is rewarded learning all that there, all that there is to know about a topic and going back to school so I do want to pull some cards on this in specific, Sagittarius, uh, before I start running my mouth. <laughs> so give me a moment. Mm, these cards are going crazy, honey. All right. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. So let me show you these cards. I'm using the Necronomicon deck now, Sagittarius, for those that are curious. Uh, we have the Strength card. The... Nine of Wands. <laughs> the Nine of Wands strength card. Uh, two of Cups. Twice for you so far. And then a Six of Swords. Every single sign, all the fire signs got Six of Swords from one of my decks this week. All of my fire signs are moving, are really healing and moving on from their old situations. Y'all, like a lot of you guys are definitely going to be, if you feel like you've been in a stalemate for a while, it, you, this is this is being overcome. You're moving on from that. You're going to be, you're experiencing movement, honey. Get it out, welcome. So two of cups comes in, really emphasizing, I normally don't do this, uh, Sagittarius, but I really do feel like this is about a person coming in twice for you. I feel like there's like a person that came into your life at one point, really good potential, really good, really good, but it just was not the right time. Nine of wands in the reverse. Like you were probably, you or the other, maybe both, honey, right? Because we're both, oh, we're both, we're all human. <laughs> it's not just us two being human, Saji. There is a bunch, millions of others. 
Um, yeah, it just feels like there are just so many distractions at the time that when this person came into your life, or opportunity, right? Because cups do represent opportunities, but I'm going to just say person. When this person came into your life before Sagittarius, there's just too much draw, like noise. Like both you guys were probably just going through like your own character development, right? And how do you get character development through just stresses of life, honey? Um, you guys were going through shadow work, right? Strength card coming in. Where it's just like you both were just dealing with some heavy stuff that really called for a lot of your attention, that really was draining of you, that you didn't have time to uh, fully engage with the situation, the opportunity um, when it was first there, or you weren't you weren't able to give it your all, or you wouldn't you weren't able to do things in the way that you would want to because there's just distractions. I just feel like distractions, and now that is like for y'all situation, that's what. Um, was like the wrong timing is because it's just like if you met this person any other time you would have had the time to connect with them six of swords but i do see you coming out of this now i am going to preface this sagittarius because i'm not going to just give rainbows and sunshines of readings right with the six of swords in the necronomicon deck the necronomicon deck does uh have its own personality while well, all the decks have their personality but in this six of swords for this deck this also implies a little bit of um untrusty uh What's the word? Not trusting fully. I know there's an actual word for it, um, but I can't think of it right now. Distrust. There's a level of distrust. Um, if it is, I do feel like it's about a part, like you see the exchange as well. If it is, I do get this sense that even if you are seeing a situation differently, Sagittarius, and you want to reconnect with it, rekindle it, you may have, there is this sense of like uh, earning trust. Now it could be on the other side, right? Maybe this other person has to earn your trust again, of course. But I just like to preference it, preface this in this way because you're in control of Sagittarius. Like it's good to have that awareness in case it wasn't, right? Um, so going on though, moving on to your King of Air, King of Swords, this card says, speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional considerations. So there is just this level of uh, maturity for you, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with an air sign with all these sword or all these swords. Swords is air energy, right? All these air cards coming in here, especially right after your eight of pentacles um, or eight of earth. I do get that sense it could be an air sign and air signs are libra for those that don't know air signs libra scorpio not scorpio libra gemini and aquarius one of those three um doesn't have to be though but that's just something i'm noticing with the patterns of these cards um clarifiers though with that king of swords so you got this mental maturity but what does that even entail what does that how does how does this benefit you right we have the fool card the queen of pentacles as well as the high priest the high priestess in i'm gonna actually put this in the upright because i was going to present it inverted and it, there's no reason why that card came out of my hand in that way so i'm taking i'm taking that as a sign from a spirit that is supposed to be upright um yeah again with this high priestess card sagittarius anytime i see a high priestess i always am just like all right this message from this point on is probably just going to be I'm not telling you anything new, honey. I'm just really affirming your the feelings that you're already having. Like, this is going to more so just be an affirming message for a lot of my Sagittarius's, I feel. Queen of Pentacles with this Fool card. This is in very much so an energy of... Um, someone just feels a little bit more sense of, like, better sense of themselves, right? Um, this is, like, the antithesis. I'm really, I believe I'm using that word properly. The, the Queen of Pentacles is the antithesis of the imposter syndrome that we were talking about you trying to come out of, Sagittarius. So I get the sense of once you go through this Eight of Pentacles, you learn about yourself more. Maybe there's a level of insecurity when it came to connecting with this person, right? Maybe your guard up was with on them before because maybe you thought they were judging you, vice versa, whatever narrative is, right? You get the point, Saji. Um, I feel like once you, you get a better sense of yourself, um, a better, a lot more confidence, right? Because the queen of pentacles exudes that confidence because she knows that she is taken care of. She knows that she can take care of herself. Then with the fool card coming in, it just feels like with this new adopted, uh, mindset, you start just allowing yourself to live. You start allowing yourself to really, um, 
it just feels like a starting fresh with something with this thing that's coming back. I feel like you're going to get to press the reset button on something, but it's not going to be like an easy case of just pressing that reset button, right? Because keep in mind, as I was saying before, Sagittarius, the Six of Swords, there is some type of trust that I feel like has to be regained if there is about a person, right? Or just like the sense of, um, I don't want to say regaining trust. Let's just say regaining, um, it's kind of like this energy where it's like you fell off, you know, where that uh, saying where it's like fell off, when you fall off that horse, get right back up on it and continue on. Don't allow that fear of after falling that off that horse the first time paralyze you from ever trying it again. I feel like you're no longer being paralyzed um, from taking action on something. You're allowing yourself to be like, all right, like fell off that horse, honey, like learned what I did, learned where I messed up, learned what went wrong in the situation. No one has to be in fault. And then you're going back onto that horse, right? With this Fool card. So I like this. I really like this, Saji. Then we get into this Nine of Pentacles for you, this Nine of Earth. Enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, uh, successful self-employment. So I want to get some cards on this in specific as well, Sagittarius, because I have a sneaking suspicion that this is kind of separate from everything else. So just give me a moment. Let's see right here. So we got the Ten of Pentacles, the Temperance card, and the Six of Swords. Yeah, something's coming back into your life, Sagittarius. Something, someone, some opportunity, especially since this with the Nine of, Nine of Pentacles, something that initially was in your life at one point. It's coming right back, honey, and you just need to have patience with it as this Temperance card, right? There was a balancing of emotions. There's something that was out of balance when it first came into your life that now is being balanced out. Have patience in this regard, Sagittarius. This is definitely something you want, so I don't want to be seeing in the comments, honey, where it's just like, oh, I don't want this ex coming back. I didn't say X. I just feel like this is a situation that was brought up or was a possibility in your life at one point and it just didn't work out for whatever reason. And now this is your bread and butter. This is your having your cake and eating it too, Sagittarius. Ten of Pentacles. What well, was at one point that you probably even felt at one point as well, being like, oh, this would be really good for me. Um, this is really stable. Uh, it's coming back and then actually is going to work out in a much better way. Truly, I see it this way. Sagittarius. I don't know why I just said it so weirdly, weirdly like that, but I feel really confident for, for you guys, Sagittarius. If there's been something that, uh, it's very much so for my Sagittarius is that feel like some, there's something that's gotten away. Like that person that got away, the one that got away, whether that one was a job or what have you, that one that got away is coming back and you get to have like a clean slate or a clean attempt with it again. So now Sagittarius, I'm going to be pulling some cards on your love and social situations, right? Uh, as well as your financial and career for this week. We're gonna get some horoscope messages in that, tarot horoscope messages in that. So we're gonna start with your love horoscope and social situations, because it doesn't always have to be about love, right? So, ooh, come on now, Saji, come on now. You guys got the four of wands or four of fire the three of water or cups and the ten of cups beautiful beautiful so this is like it's always been there there's something that's been destined for you some person has been just kind of i'm gonna just use the words like soulmate and whatever because i feel like this will really um make sense to what the, i'm trying to get across and that like there was someone that was meant to be in your life for whatever amount of time right i want to put a timetable on it but there's someone that was meant to be in your life and present in your life in some way to play some role in your life and it was just a matter because this four of wands is the 11 11 card you just have to walk through the portal it's been sitting here right i see this finally just come like this is just coming back together um sagittarius something that was like it was like written in the stars that cheesy saying is like someone is written in the stars for you whether it's just like a um actual relationship or whether it's like a, just you're a person right you're a best friend or a co like something that just someone that plays a really positive impact in your life Sagittarius th that you tried to at one point and it just didn't work out it's coming back and actually going to just be really rewarding for you just I strongly feel that for you guys and I never I usually don't say that um I usually like to focus on new energy so it's very interesting that came up in this way so now Sagittarius let's just get into your career and financial situations this week before we close this horoscope weekly horoscope out wow 
Sagittarius, you guys did an insane reading unexpectedly. Um, renewal card, Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Earth, or Ten of Earth as well. Tomato, tomato, honey. You guys got both the tens, beautiful cards. Really, the only way we could have had a better setup is like the sun. But truly, Ten of Pentacles, refer you, the second time you got it too as well, refers to that stable like financials, right? And Cups refers to that emotional fulfillment and all that. So you got the whole bag, like the whole thing, Saji. Um, renewal card does, it's like, I do get the sense here, even when, in terms of your um, financial situation, there is something just like, I just keep hearing fresh start. Similar to like um, Leo. There's like a fresh start for you, Sagittarius. There's a sense, of, but like, again, I do feel like it's like a fresh start with something that you already kind of dipped your toes into at one point. Like, I don't feel like this is like something that, like a fresh start in the sense that you've never done it before, just taking a risk. I feel like you dabbled in it before. And now, for whatever reason, you're coming back into it. And it's looking really good, Sagittarius. So I really celebrate you for that. But that is the reading that I have for you. That is your weekly horoscope today, Sagittarius. I hope you found this reading helpful. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Sagittarius, um, as well as uh, I do your weekly, I do all the weekly Zodiac uh, horoscopes is where I'm like been talking so long. I do weekly horoscopes for all the Zodiac signs, Sagittarius. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, even if they're not, send them one of my videos and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. Till next time though, Sagittarius, I really appreciate appreciate you allowing me to relay these messages for you and I hope I can connect with you sometime in the near future. I love you so much.